Welcome to day 28 of how to automate your law firm in 90 days. I am Shay Jackson, your AI automation specialist. This is part one of a mini series where I will be building a legal assistant agent in N8N. In this video, I will show you just an overview of the legal assistant agent, do a little voice and text message demonstration so that you can see the magic. Let's dive in. Let's get started. I am going to start with a voice message so that we could just dive into seeing the magic. Then I will give a walkthrough of what's going on under the hood and I will end with a text message demonstration. As you see, my trigger is Telegram, so I'm going to pull up Telegram. I also have it on my phone as well. Let me move it to the side so we can get started. I will be attending a law conference tomorrow in Baltimore for two days and may stay for the weekend. Can you tell me what the weather is like in Baltimore? Also, suggest some things I should pack for my trip. Thank you. So now you see that it's taking the message and it's processing everything. And what I want to do is I want to show you the, I want to show you, and you saw the pop-up that there was an audio in Telegram, but I want to play it through. Here's my phone, Telegram on my phone, and I want to play the message through here so that you see that it's the, the same thing. And what I'm going to do is click over to Baltimore so that we can see if it aligns with the, the weather. The weather forecast for Baltimore, Maryland from February 13 to 16, 2025 indicates rain with a temperature around 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are some packing suggestions for your law conference and possible weekend stay. One, waterproof raincoat or jacket. Two, umbrella. Three, warm layers for underneath your business attire. Four, water-resistant footwear. Five, business clothes appropriate for the conference. Six, casual attire for the weekend, e.g. sweaters and jeans. Seven, gloves and a scarf if you're sensitive to the cold. Eight, laptop, conference materials, and necessary documents. Nine, chargers for electronic devices. 10, personal toiletries and essentials. 11, travel and identification documents. Please adjust the list based on your specific needs and preferences for the trip. Enjoy the conference and your stay in Baltimore. Okay, so that was the response to my talking about my law conference trip, my trip to a law conference in Baltimore. And you saw that yes, in Baltimore, the temperature is around 37 and there is rain. So let's talk about what's under the hood. I am using for my trigger Telegram. And let me step back um, just a second. I am using a platform called N8N. Amazing. It is an amazing platform. So my trigger is Telegram because I have the ability to not only have the application on my laptop, I'm on my desktop, as you see, it's the same. Here's the audio that I had and also the messaging, but also on my phone. So I have that flexibility of being able to either use um, my mobile phone, my cell phone, or my desktop or laptop. Now, from that trigger, what I have to do is create two different routes because text messages are processed differently than audio. And let me uh, zoom in a little bit, scroll over. So you see right here where it says switch, I have a route where I can route my audio messages and I have open AI to trans transcribe that recording before passing it to my legal assistant agent. And also I have 
for text messages, which I'll give that demonstration um, after I walk through this. So this I like very cool where I can, you have the ability to not only give voice commands, but text messages as well. Now here is my, here is my um, main, my main agent. This is the legal assistant agent. Here is the brain of the process. I am using OpenAI, but you can use, and let me click on it. They have, you have so many other um, LLMs you can use. You could use, and I don't want to disconnect it, but you could use um, DeepSeek, you can use Anthropic Claude, you can use Gemini. NADN has a plethora of large language models that you are a llama, and I'm just thinking of some while I'm talking, but I started off with OpenAI and I'm using OpenAI for this demonstration. And like I said, you can use whatever large language model you like. Um, what I would strongly suggest is just making sure that it's at least um, at the same level or more advanced than um, OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0, okay? Now, I also have memory and the memory is here so that it remembers because if not, if I uh, talk about going traveling to Baltimore and then I message a few more things and then I return and I'll say, oh, what's the weather again? The agent will be like, what weather? <laughs> because it'll forget. But here I have it where um, from the telegram uh, trigger, it's remembering um, at least 20 interactions. OK, the past 20 interactions and see you you see here on the left hand side where it says I will be attending a law conference tomorrow. So this is the information that is being um, fed in. This is from um, telegram. And again, being fed into the legal assistant is going to remember the past 20 um, chat interactions, okay? Also, tools. Now, right now, there is only one tool, and SERP API. So, with SERP API, and this is for being able to being able to search the internet one limitation that chat gpt has is it's not current it's not present day so if i'm asking for weather over the next few days it's not able to give me that information that is why i added this surf api tool but this again because i said this is part one of a mini series this is the first tool that I'll be adding. And over the next videos, we will be adding what I call sub agents. And we're going to connect it to the tools as tools that our legal assistant can use from um, being able to schedule events on our calendar, interacting with email, um, other actions as well, okay? And if you notice that there are things that I can add and then it'll ask me, okay, what do you what do you want to add? And I want to make, instead of just adding my Google Calendar, um, which I could, I can add my calendar, but instead of just adding my calendar to the tool, what I want to do is create a sub agent so that there are many things that I can do with a Google, with Google Calendar and as I mentioned, Gmail and other things as well. So that is my, this is, and you can think of this as like the supervisor. That's why this is the legal assistant agent. And again, as we, as I create videos and I'll demonstrate all of the sub agents, we will be connecting them to this legal assistant. And I will demonstrate the power of having those sub agents connected to the legal assistant as a tool. Okay. Moving on, one of the things that at the end I am doing is once the information is processed, 
either the information if I sent a voice message, well, I'm expecting a voice message back. Or if I send a text message, then it's going to the output, and this is what the output is, it's going to send me a text message back. And so what this if statement does is, okay, if it's a voicemail, if it's a voice message, then what I want it to do is process and send an audio message, as you saw that it did, or if I send a text message, then a text message will be Return and that is what I'm about to do now in the demonstration is go from Now I'm going to pull up my telegram again, and I am going to send a text message I'm gonna say I will be staying and let me see because I did pick a hotel. I'm gonna tell um I'm going to tell Zerdan, that's my bot's name, that I will be staying at the Baltimore Marriott waterfront. Can it suggest any sushi places that I can um, go to that's within a, we'll say, 15-mile radius? Okay. Let me go back to... And what you'll notice, hold on, and I want to show you this. What you'll notice is... Once it receives that trigger, what it'll do is based on if it's audio or text, it'll take that route. If you notice um, when I sent the audio, it went up here to the audio, then it went to the legal assistant. It tapped into the brain, which is our open AI. And for open AI, I'm using the GPT 4.0 uh, model. And then what it did was it also tapped into the SERP API because again, it needed to pull what is the weather for Baltimore going to be for the next few days. Okay. And then it went up. It saw that it was a voice. We were, it, we started as a voice message. We we're going to respond with the voice message. And that's why it went up top. So for the text, what you'll see is it'll start at Telegram and you'll see the little circle that is churning and thinking. It'll go down to set text. It'll go to the legal AI assistant, you know, go to the brain, go here. And then also you should see that it um, goes back to send a message. So let me... Um, do test workflow, and then I'm going to click Telegram. Okay, now it's done. Here are some great sushi restaurants within 15 minutes of Baltimore, Maryland waterfront. It has a Zoomy and it gives the website. So let me click on that. I'm going to open a Zoomy. Here's the one in Baltimore, Maryland. So it does take me to the website and let me see. Oh, here's a Zoomy right here. And also let's look back and see um, what it said in Telegram. Others, other options include Sakura Cafe. My apologies if I'm um, butchering that. Aloha Sushi. Oh, let me scroll down to see. Let me go in here and then let me click on Telegram to see. I might need to look it, look them up to see if they if they match. Oh yeah, let me look. Oh, this one was on there, I believe. No, Aloha Sushi. So let me look and see where Aloha Sushi is.
I was saying because I put it together. Okay, it's downtown, which the um, the uh, the I couldn't remember the name of the the hotel. The Baltimore Marriott Waterfront Hotel is downtown as well. So it looks like it gave me some great information. Did give did give more suggestions, but it says Azumi stands out as a high end choice in the immediate area. Enjoy your meal. So that is, again, part one of showing, uh, building, creating a legal assistant agent in N8N. If you have any questions about AI automations, AI agents, um, meg.com, N8N, <laughs> Airtable, there will be a link in the description where you can schedule a 30 minute consultation with me. I am Shay Jackson, your AI automation specialist. Have a great day.